Good morning. I was listening to this whistleblower from New Zealand and he was talking to Liz Gunn, this brilliant lady. He's a database administrator and he was looking at statistics and saw something so that people, people were dying within weeks after getting the needle, right? So he started to look into this and now he's presenting all these statistics. It's a fantastic video. I'll post a link to it. Right. For instance, this batches, top killer batches from Pfizer. You know, the number one killer batch, 711 New Zealanders got that batch and 152, 152 of them died. And he said, this is impossible statistically. And that was just the number one. There's a long list of them, these batches. Uh, he also talks about providers, you know, the, the people with the needle, right? And the top killer provider in New Zealand, one in four died. So people went to see this place, I don't know, clinic, something. There was a lady there or a man, right, with a needle. And they got the needle in their arm. One in four died. He said, you know, if this guy or lady went to a cancer clinic with people lying, you know, dying in their beds, injecting them with this stuff, maybe he would get numbers like this. Or I don't know, maybe he said, not even then. No. And I was listening to all this and I was thinking, so let's just say that the truth comes out. This is of course key. We need people to understand what's going on, right? So that they are not fooled the next time. <laughs> but let's just say that they all understand it. Well, this comes out in media and everybody understands that they were poisoned. And they will say, okay, I was poisoned, and I'm probably dying now, See? I'm getting sicker, and my family was poisoned, my friends were poisoned, we were all fooled by the medical establishment and the politicians and media, they convinced us that this was a good thing to do, and it was all safe, and we were totally fooled by them, right? So let's say that people understand this. What's going to happen, you think? Well, I'm sure it would be great. Right? But I strongly doubt that there will be a reaction from them. You know? Well, they will say, oh, I still have food and a place to live. And I, you know, I have my neighbor I can talk to and we can be angry about this thing. Right? That's about all they will do, maybe. We have to take charge of this. We have to do something. We have to lead them, you see. When all, if all this truth is coming out, we, it's up to us. That's the truth of it, as I see it, you see. Because people don't react. Now, I was never poisoned, I was not fooled, and many of you were not fooled, right? So it's different with us, because I know if they are coming to you again, using more force maybe this time, to make you take it, it's not going to happen, right? And there will be a reaction from you, and a reaction from me, absolutely. So that's, this is different. You know, people don't react, really, see, well, they get pissed off, of course, you know, I'm talking about the average man now, yeah, I'm a bit disillusioned about this, and then we have immigration, a lot of people are angry here in Sweden about immigration, but we don't see a strong reaction 
to it. See? I don't see it. A lot of people are angry. But there's no strong, real strong reaction. Like the one we saw in Ireland the other day. Well, these were children were killed right, by this asshole in, uh, in Ireland. Terrible stuff. But I don't see it, see? I think people are too lame, basically. Right, so we'll see. Maybe these two together, you know, immigration and the medical experiment. Possibly. And our politicians, of course. You see, for, for instance, UK, you have uh, the Tories and the lab and Labour, right? There's no populist party in the UK, so you sort of can't vote yourself out of this mess. And then you got Brexit, and I thought, this is fantastic. Now at least you can control your borders. What happened? I think it got even worse. That's what I hear. See, these top globe, uh, the, the politicians, they are controlled by the top globalists. You know, by these big international institutions. They are just doing what they are told. And they are working hard to control you and make life miserable for you. Now, what, how do people react to this? Well, they get very, very angry, of course. I think the average man will just be pissed off. That's all. See? So it needs to get worse before we see any really strong reaction to any of this. Same, same thing here in Sweden. I'm not saying that we are better. You know, we have a populist party too, don't we? So we can vote for that party, right? The truth is they are just pretending to be populists. So they got fantastic support in the last election. They got like, well, they became the second biggest party. And then we saw some changes, but they were really insignificant. So people are looking around and they say, shit, we are getting Sharia here eventually. Uh, but I can move, you know. I still have food. <laughs> like I did, I moved. I left Stockholm to, to the country. See? So, I, it needs to get worse before people start to react in a very, very strong way. It, I think it's about the food, don't you think? When it's too tough for them, it's hard for them to get food or a place to live. When there's enough of those, see? Then we get a really strong reaction. But I'm hope I am hopeful about this. The more the truth is coming out, the more people are realizing what's been going on. And we will see some sort of reaction. Of course, we see it already. What do you think about all this? <laughs> I was thinking about the United States too, right? Because you have the Republicans and the Democrats. And then you had Trump. What happened to him? Well, they rigged the election, didn't they? And now you have this demented clown in the White House. Now, if you, have an, if you want an image of a controlled puppet politician, Joe Biden would do, wouldn't he? It's just silly that he's the president. I want to see Trump as president of the United States. He's got some issues. I think he will have to deal with this thing, with the medical experiment, eventually. Maybe he's waiting with this, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's tough for him, personally, to admit that he was wrong about the medical experiment. But he will have to deal with this, eventually. I know it. Very soon. Things are moving along quickly now. now. Just look back six months and you, then you look at now. It's a totally different scene, isn't it? We talk about the medical experiment. And just look ahead six months. 
maybe we can have a picture of what it will be like. Things are changing. Now if you look week from week maybe you don't think it's changing so much. If you look at six months ahead or six months back you see there's a big big change. Right. That's all. Be good.